And right now at 11, the suspect accused of murdering a queen's mother and dumping her body is set to face a judge. And tonight, new details are emerging about the man police say is a scorned lover who snapped. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. Investigators say the suspect is the family's handyman who'd had an affair with the mother of two. Police say he stabbed her to death in what they call a crime of passion. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live outside Queens Criminal Court where the suspect is set to be arraigned. Ali. That's right, Christina Maurice, the suspect is about to be arraigned any minute inside court behind me on charges of second degree murder and criminal tampering. Police say he is a scorned lover who told investigators that he had no intention of killing Orsalia Gall when he went to her home over the weekend, but in the heat of an argument, he snapped. 44-year-old David Bonola scours and curses as he's walked out of a police precinct in handcuffs Thursday. Investigators brought the Queens resident in for questioning hours earlier in the murder of Orsalia Gall and say it didn't take long before the suspect confessed. They have been having an intimate affair for approximately two years. Bonola was working as the family's handyman when police believe he began a romantic relationship with the 51-year-old wife and mother of two. A social media account under Bonola Nola's name often commented on Gall's photos over a year ago, posting to Mirada and Amarada, your look in love. But investigators believe recently the affair turned sour, and Benola went to Gall's Forest Hills home early Saturday morning to talk. He is either let in voluntarily, or he uses a key he has knowledge about hidden in the barbecue. A heated argument ensues between the two in the basement. A knife is brandished. A violent struggle ensues. Gall was stabbed more than 50 times. Police say the suspect stuffed her body in her son's hockey bag, dragged it several blocks away, and ditched it on the side of the road. The next day, we're told Bonola was treated at the hospital for deep stab wounds in his hand. Detectives also developed leads which led them to a location where boots, a T-shirt, and bloody bandages were discovered. The victim spent her final hours at Lincoln Center with friends Friday before returning home. Gull's husband and eldest son were out of state, but her 13-year-old son was upstairs when she was killed. Neighbors we spoke to are grateful for an arrest. Everybody's still here trying to get some kind of, uh, you know, snapshot of what's going on. The husband hasn't been back here. We're all relieved, um, absolutely relieved. Um, we'll see for the family as well, the family and their friends. That's, that's the first and most important part. And police believe after the attack, the suspect sent threatening text messages from the victim's cell phone to her husband in an attempt to pin the crime on someone else. Prior to this, Manola had no criminal history. We're live outside the Queen's Criminal Courthouse in Kew Garden. It's the Book of Sirach, chapter 39, and verse 28 through 30. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakradash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four corners of the globe. And shalom to you few sisters out there as well doing the right thing. This is Brother Ariyah coming at you with another lesson. And yeah, you've seen it in the video, man. You know, this woman is out here <laughs> thinking that she's living her best life. You know, she got a boyfriend and she got a husband on the side. You know, and she think that that's cool, man. You know, but the most I took her ass out, man, using that man. You know, she got the she got the, the side dude all up in the house. You know, with her kid there. You know? You know, women are just well, wicked and sneaky, man. Okay? And I'm just talking about wicked women. I'm not talking about all women. But women that have this mind state that they can have as many men as they want. And they could be married and do whatever they want, sleep with whoever they want. You know, these women that with this mind frame is going to get destroyed, man, in numerous ways. Now, this man was probably went over there trying to get with her, you know, wanted him, wanted her all for himself. 
And she probably rejected him. And he lost his wits. And he stabbed her. He stabbed her 58 times, man. And when I first saw this, I said, yeah, that's a crime of passion right there. That, that had to be somebody she was dealing with. And it came out to be true. And he killed her. And he stuffed her in a hockey bag, man. Her son's hockey bag at that. Dragged her several blocks away from the house and just dumped her on the side of the street, man. And then tried to act like, you know, he wasn't trying to, you know, frame her husband for it, man. But he was out of town. He probably didn't even know that. You know? These women, I'm telling you, man, more of this is coming to the earth, man. You know, I'm seeing more and more in the news, you know, women are getting taken out, man. You know, for their wickedness, man, for their wicked deeds, man. For the things that they do. Okay? I'm going to go to Proverbs chapter 6. Proverbs 6 and 32. I'm going to read 32 through 34. Okay, and it says, But whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. Okay? And that Jake that you seen that was dealing with her, he definitely lacks understanding. He's sitting up there flirting with her on social media. You know the woman is married, right? This dude was the handyman for the house and ends up sleeping with the with the uh, husband's wife, man. You know? So this dude completely lacks understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. Okay? He's going to be judged for that, man. It might happen while he's in jail. You know, he's in there for the rest of his life. So it, that's where it is going to happen at. Okay? But he's got to sit there and think about that for the rest of his life, man. All that over one over a woman, man. For what? There's plenty of women out here, man. Plenty. But because you want to sleep with a woman that's taken already... This is the bed that you got to sleep in now, man. And no pun intended, but he do got three hots in a cot now. That's all you got. A wound and, and dishonor shall he get. And his reproach shall not be wiped away. For jealousy is the rage of a man. Therefore, he will not spare in the, in the day of vengeance. Okay? Yeah, man, that dude was super jealous, man. You seen it. You seen it in the video. Super jealous, mad because he can't have her, trying to take her away from her husband, man. Right? He got jealous, man. And rage, he probably was seeing red. You know, to sit there and stab someone 58 times, man. That's overkill, man. That's straight up and down overkill right there. And he ain't leave her there. He, he put her in a in a hockey bag, man, and took it, you know, took her down the block, man, took her for a stroll and left her there, man. You know, the love of many is waxing colder and colder, man, every day, every minute of every day, man. You know, more and more things are happening. More and more people are getting taken out, man. You know, I saw something, you know, where uh, there was a murder-suicide of a family, man, a family of four. So whoever did the murdering, I didn't really look into it. They murdered every uh, the three others in the family, and he and they killed the damn dog, man. Everybody in the house had to go, including the, including itself. The love of many is waxing cold out here, man. We are in the last days for real. I'm gonna go to uh, Ecclesiasticus. Is that what I want? Nope, I want First Edris. Okay, chapter 4, and I'm going to read uh, 22, and I'm going to jump down 26 and 27. It says, By this also ye must know that women have dominion over you. Do ye not labor and toil and give and bring all to a woman? Yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for a woman and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished have erred and sinned for a woman, man. And that's exactly what this man was doing. He ran out of his damn wits, man. 
Okay? I'm not going to say why. You know, brothers probably know what I was, I was about to say. <laughs> I mean, was it that good, man? That you got to go ahead and, 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 and do all that, man? That's ridiculous, man. You know? But that just shows a sign of a weak man when he tries, when he's, you know, out there trying to sleep with other men's wives, man. That's weakness, man. Most men in the world think that that's something that shows that, you know, yeah, machismo, like you a real man if you do that. If you conquer another man's wife and take her from him, man. Nah, that's some weak shit, man. And you got what you deserve, man. And the most high is definitely going to judge you while you up in that jailhouse, man. You don't know what's coming to you, man. You know, men that, that you know, kill children or molest children or kill women, they don't, they don't fare well in prison, man. Okay? Most men in there hey, want to be next to a woman, and you in here because you killed one, man. He gonna feel it though. He's definitely gonna feel it, man. And that woman brought shame to her house. She brought shame to her husband by doing that. I'm gonna go to Leviticus 20 and 10. Okay, and the man that committed adultery with another man's wife even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death, man. Okay? Now, that woman was put to death, but he wasn't put to death, man. But at the end of the day, we all know he's going to be put to death, too. He's going to be judged somehow, some way, man. You know, the man, you know, the woman's husband probably hired him to be a, a handyman for the house, gave him work. You know, paid him to take care, you know, of the house, whatever needs to be done around the house. Because, you know, probably the husband was, you know, busy with work and things like that, man. And all along, this dude is plotting on, on this man's wife, man. And if I was the husband, I wouldn't even give a shit, man. To be honest with you. You know, if a woman is doing something like that behind your back, man. And, and something like that happens to them, so be it, man. You know, you made your bed, now you got to sleep in it, man. And that was super uh, disrespectful for her to do that, man. Bringing him in the house, letting him know where the extra key is. That He was probably sleeping with her in the house, man. He's probably having sex down in the basement. That's probably was their spot. Unacceptable, man. Unacceptable. You know? I'm going to go to uh, the book of Sirach. Chapter 25. Okay, and I want uh, to start at two. It says, Three sorts of men my soul hateth, and I am greatly offended at their life. A poor man that is proud, a rich man that is a liar, and an old adulterer that doteth, man. Okay? And this dude was, you know, he was up there in age. He wasn't too old, man, but he's definitely an adulterer. The Most High hates adulterers, man. He hates them. Okay? This is something the Most High looks down upon, man. And me, myself, that's not, that's something I've never gotten, you know, down with, man. You know, throughout my travels, you know, I've been propositioned by women that are married, man. I turned them all down, man. This is even before I came into the truth, man. Even before I came into the truth, you know, if I was trying to get with a woman or whatever, I would ask her if she had a man. Because that's something in my spirit I knew was wrong, man. That shit is not cool at all, man. 
You know, and a lot of men take pride in doing things like that, man, to other men, man. But I don't, man. It's not right. To me, it's not acceptable. It never was. Sirach 25 and 13, give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. 19, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her, man. Okay? And what was her portion? Death, man. That's what she got for being a wicked ass woman, man. That's exactly what she got. And I don't feel sorry for her at all, man. You know? If people are out here openly doing wickedness like that, and you get put to death, man, I don't feel sorry for you at all, man. At all. You know? You get what you deserve, man. What you put out into the world is what you get back, man. Straight up and down. I'm going to go to Proverbs. I'm going to go to Proverbs chapter 30. And 18. I'm going to read 18 through 23. And after I, after I, um, after I read these scriptures, I got a quick little video I want to play. It shows you the mind state that, that women are in, man. Okay? It's, it's totally, it's, it's crazy. I'm going to show you after this, though. This is Proverbs 30 and 18 through 23. There be three things which are too wonderful for me, yea, four which I know not. The way of an eagle in the air, the way of a serpent upon a rock, the way of a ship in the midst of the sea, and the way of a man with a maid. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness, man. Okay? And basically what the scripture is saying is she over there, you know, giving, uh, you know, uh, you know, giving some top and, you know, she wipe her mouth when she finished and she don't think she did nothing wrong. Okay? And that's exactly what this woman is doing, man. You know, sleeping around with this man, messing around with this man, probably in the house too. And she thinks nothing's wrong with that, man. And a lot of women have this mind frame where they think there's nothing wrong with doing that if they are with a man already, man. And when all hell break loose, these are the these women with this mind mindset are the women that are gonna suffer out here, man. Because women with that mind frame are gonna have to pay for their actions, man. For three things, the earth is disquieted. And for four, which is which I cannot bear, for a servant when he when he reigneth, and a fool when he is filled with meat, and for an odious woman when she is married, okay. And that word odious just means hateful, man. And she basically was a hateful woman to do the acts that she was doing, man. And it ultimately led to her death, man. She thought she was she thought she was living her best life, man. Oh, I got two men. I'm good. And even though she stopped, it still came back to bite her in the ass, man. Because the most high punched her clock, man. This is my last precept here. Lord willingness is edifying. You know, and I want to come off like I'm cold or I'm happy that this happened. You know, because I don't like to see anybody get put to death, man. But at the end of the day, I hate wickedness. I hate wicked shit like this, man. This shit is it's not cool, man. It's not cool at all, man. You know, I wouldn't do it to nobody and I wouldn't want it done to me, you know. That just shows you, you know, how women are very wicked, man. They sit there, they, they smile in your face, they lie to you. They go out and about, you know, fuck a dude. So, uh, Salaki, for my language, have sex with a man and come home and cook you a four course dinner, man. With some dessert. I've heard a lot of tales of women, you know, going out 
you know, giving men top and coming home and kissing their husbands in the mouth, man. Just real wicked and disrespectful, man, and nasty, man, and classless. Let's go to Sirach 26. I'm going to end it here. And I'm going to read 24 through 26. And it says, A dishonest woman contemns shame, but an honest woman will reverence her husband. Okay? And that woman didn't reverence her husband. She was. She's definitely not honest. She's very dishonest. Probably lying to her husband. I'm going out with my girls when you. she probably going to sleep with this dude. Or she could be home with him in the basement and the husband called, uh, you know, on the cell phone or whatever. You know, where you at? I'm, I'm out shopping. You know? A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. But she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. A woman that honoreth her husband shall be judged wise of all. Okay, it's a wise thing to honor your husband, man. And it's an unwise thing to dishonor your husband, man. But she that dishonoreth him in her pride shall be count shall be counted ungodly of all, man. And that's what God her ass put to death. Now I'm gonna show this video real quick. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Lord willing, the footage that I'm about to show you was edifying. Okay? Give me a second. Watch this. I'm cheating. If he goes on vacation with his boys, I am cheating. If he goes outside the country to go visit his mama or in another state to visit his mama, I am going to cheat while he is gone. If he have female friends, I'm cheating. If you have male friends, I'm still cheating. It's not even just the video. Look at the fucking comment. This is so iconic. Look. You see the comments, man? This is so iconic. Purr, queen. This needs to be an anthem. <laughs> Yo. Yo, th this is this is the type of time that these females are on out here, man. Okay, you hear a lot of young Jakes, a lot of male Jakes talking about they on demon time. These women out here is on demon time too, man. Okay, so for, you know, you brothers out there, watch yourself, man. Watch yourself with these females, man. Okay, the next time, till the next time, I want to say Shalom.